Well, this is one of my favorite songs, Joey. This was on a record called Summer Camp Nightmare. Um, really uniquely, interestingly recorded, produced record. Very bare bones, but what you get is something so earthly and grounded and real, which I think under the modern lens becomes even more important. But if you haven't checked out that record, please do. It's such a beautiful, well put together piece of art, and I would implore you to go check out Summer Camp Nightmare by Three. Yeah! How the hell was this start? That's on me. Oh, good. Thank you. Just working my way. Okay.
dude, we just gotta make another record. Yes! I mean, I'd love to get this guy in the studio. So. Yeah. Hey, I'm ready to go. He just has to let me know when we're going in. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's the Eppard curse. We love music. We live to play music, but we are quite possibly the worst administrative human beings on the planet. Oh God, your paperwork terrifies us. Yeah, returning phone calls terrifies us. Oh, that's an actual phobia. You know that? Yeah, I have it. I know all about it. Telephobia. Yeah, telephobia. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, are we doing swimming? Yeah. So this is a song we, we've never played before. It's a really fantastic song. We actually, we played it, but in the studio, we tracked it in this session in, God, what was that, 2009 or something? Maybe, I don't know. But we've never played this live before, and it's, it's always been one of my favorite Joey songs, so I, ho I hope you guys dig it too. Also, we kind of have to play this song, because it's called, well, it's called Swimming, and, uh, there's a couple of lines that just fit behind the boat, so. Yeah, it's kind of perfect. What's up, Dave?
I nodded. I nodded just because I was so happy. I totally. I love playing that song. What a song. That was fun. Did somebody say wrong side? Oh, well, you'll have to do that one on your own, Joey. Uh, and I played on the record. They're going to have to do it on their own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wrong tuning. I do want to play a song from that, that first three record, though. Well, some of you guys know, but that first three record was me and Joey as teenagers. We signed to Universal Records. We, we got a major label record deal. And uh, we got this really, I mean, obviously unique opportunity to spend four or five, six months kind of making a record. Our job was to, I mean, I finished high school in the studio. And it was just a really unique way to grow up. I don't know that you fully know that you know, at age 16, 17, 18, but now as adults, we can look back and be, I know I am, I'm sure I can speak for you, just so thankful for, like, how rich we were in opportunities. And that record ended up, we got, we kind of got chewed up and spit out before we were 21 by the music business. We got signed by the president of Universal and then dropped by a kind of nameless, faceless A&R man at the company over the phone, just mm -hmm. dropped us, which you can imagine, you know, it, it broke our hearts. His and name was Bradley, if you want to find him. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Poor Bradley. We love you, Bradley. Yeah. It wasn't your fault, buddy. Bradley, what? Um, but funny story. When a label drops you, they want their masters back. They want the record you recorded, but we were like, no one works there was there when we were there. Everyone got fired in one kind of fell swoop. So we sent them back like a collection of farts on tape. And <laughs> no one would ever know until now I'm saying it on the statute of limitations is up on that. It actually went platinum. Yeah. <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, and we got to keep our record that we worked so hard on. And, and a bulk of that record is uh, Three's record, Paint by Number. Yeah! Um, which, yeah, sounds like some of you guys know. So I think we're going to do a song off that. We never even rehearsed this one. So holy shit, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, was gonna say. Let's just take a wild ride. What are you gonna say? Yeah! See, see what happens in the food. Check out the sound.
Thank you guys. These guys made a huge difference, making it possible for Josh and I to do this show. So, we totally want to say thanks to them. All right. Well, here's another song I think we played once 40 years ago. Yeah, we we actually played this song. I think it was the night a long time ago. One time, uh, the night you met your wife. Oh shit! This is we did play this. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, Mike Todd actually played it with us. Me and Mike said yeah. Mike played Todd the song. Yeah. played bass, and uh, and the manager of uh, of this restaurant uh, was Dirty Aaron. That's true. Mm -hmm. And he ran a tight ship. I think he got us to play there. Oh no, Dirty Aaron got us to play there. Yeah, he got us the gig. Josh met his wife. What and a night! What, what a, a fucking night! night. It's crazy. You never let you play a gig. It changes people's lives. Yeah. yeah. The tattoo-less, shaved Ernie. He'd call everybody buddy back then. That was like restaurant talk. Listen, buddy. It's all... It's one of the things I remember, but... <laughs> Dirty Ernie has been accepted into the Coheed universe, engulfed into the black hole. Oh, yes! Well, yeah, that's a, that's what a trip. So we played this once before, yeah, long, long, long time. 15 years ago or something, 16. This song's a banger, though. <laughs> okay, well, no. it's, it's a lot of notes for me, so wish me luck.
gotta say, man, I've tried to play that song with a lot of other drummers, and it's always a disaster. But when I play with Josh, it's yeah. so itchy. He just holds it, holds it down. He's got a special talent, you know. Oh, uh, that was kind of a shame. I mean, that's a unique song, too. That's not. But it's, it's, pretty, yeah. it's that brotherly thing, yeah. Um, this is our last song. We're gonna we're gonna call out another special guest. One T Bone Steve. Hey, looking okay. fully ready to rock and roll. The truth out of everything is is like you know the the lineage, the legacy of Coheed. These <laughs> two. You're good at that. Like you know. I'm watching you two play together, and I'm remembering like these like moments of like watching these two at like a it was called Tinker Tinker Street, yeah, Tinker Street Cafe in Woodstock, New York. Yeah, yeah man, that's where we got our team. And I see this guy still play. You know how we all talk about his open mouth thing. You know what he does, and you know and, and and how he's like incredible at even singing background vocals and what he does and what he adds to his song. Because basically he writes a song with drums, right? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it like that. And so, um, so he was doing that with his brother, like before any of this went down. And, and he and his brother just fucking made music that blew everybody's mind. And they still do. I just, I just got my mind blown. So I, I'm here just to like, I don't know. I'm just gonna play things. You know, with you. Yeah. Because, you That's know, what we want, man. You are like, you know, one of the best songwriters I've ever heard in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, just well, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Best songwriters I've ever heard in my life. But think about it this way: like when you're like a little kid, and you just hear this dude who's like 16, and he writes these songs, and you're like, what? Well, that motherfucker that wrote that? Hold on, I can do that too. No, I can't do that. Oh, what stop. is it? Abel, so Abel for Mabel. Abel for Mabel. I remember that one. Oh, Mabel. Dude, I just found a cassette tape with that on it. And I'm going to share it, actually, on my Patreon. I have a Patreon, by the way. Oh, there you go. Uh, There's the business, man. Now <laughs> share that one. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, And you guys too, um, if you want to sing along with us, uh, basically, when I say America, you can sing a miracle. And when I sing a miracle, you can sing America. It's kind of, those words kind of fit together. Pretty good. So, check out this, uh, this groove with Josh Hubbard. Oh, mm -hmm. 